Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kami with you and in today's video I wanted to show how I am using my uni uh, signal gel pens, the white ones because they tend to dry up or like stop uh, writing even the new ones so I wanted just to share this maybe it's gonna be helpful to you if you have any thing like that with your gel pens uh, if you have a problem they are not writing so try doing this so the pressure comes from both sides and it makes it dry kind of not move as well or move back because you know sometimes we see this kind of uh, the ink separates and it goes in this side for example so I think it's one of the reasons uh, as well because of the cup closed tightly so what I'm doing I'm using some tackies or I'm using some a kneadable eraser for this purpose I'm just uh, taking like small piece like so and you know just rolling it like that and uh, putting it at the end of course uh, this will be only a temporary solution it's gonna write as well and you just need to dip it a little bit in the water and as you can see uh, the ink is flowing actually so I can use it it was not writing um, unfortunately I already right now did that off camera so basically it will work for now but again it's gonna stop moving so for the next time I'm going to prepare more and add again so that it will push the ink if that makes sense and i'm using this kind of stick so this perfectly goes in and pushes this uh, kneadable eraser inside so as you can see and i just dip it a little bit in the water and it's again starts working let me just show you so i'm just working on this page and doing stars it dried up again so i need to clean the tip and a little bit dipping it in the water helps the ink flow more so let's see if it's gonna work so I guess it stopped working again so as you can see I already drew uh, drew some not drew pointed you can say I did like so and I created some stars. Now what I'm going to do, okay, there is some. Okay, I guess there is some still ink moving. Maybe I need to add more water and just clean the tip. Sometimes the problem with the tip actually, because I have already plenty of pressure in here, it should come out. So let's try again. Okay, it's not perfect as you can see. It's not perfect as it was here. So I'll try to show you. I'm going to put more of this and try to push the ink more. And you will see it will flow much better. So I guess this size should suffice. So before you just want to use your gel pens to do this and then you can use it like for uh, until it dries up again and the ink stops flowing so I'm gonna push it a little bit more and I don't know if the camera will catch because the ink will come out more so I think this should suffice and let's try again okay I think I need to dip it a little bit more in the water again hope it's visible what I'm doing on the camera I'm not sure if the, if my hand hopefully not covering so as you can see now it's much better working so I need to add a little bit more of water to help the ink so that's water as you can see with the water it's moving so you see it's much easier now I'm not even pushing it one of the things also if 
your gel pen uh, f uh, like if it fall down on the floor or on the hard surface it also stops working so see so never do this because it will damage so it's drying up so i need to add a little bit more of water so that's a lot of water but why not let's have some big stars as well so before the ink dries i'm going to put more dots more stars to be exact The same thing I did with my other gel pens, not only the white one. One more thing I just wanted to mention that if I'm using tacky, the blue tack or these tackies, okay, I can easily remove it. With the kneadable eraser, it's quite difficult to remove it to stop the flow because the flow is very, very, uh, as you can see, uh, a lot coming out the flow. So if I want to stop it, usually I would take this uh, kneadable eraser out. Uh, but sometimes it wouldn't come out. As you can see, this is soft, but tackies are not like this. This is kneadable eraser. Before you go ahead, uh, expect that the ink might flow a lot. So it might not stop until, you know, some certain amount of time. So usually I am able to remove this, but sometimes uh, not, I'm not able. Like in here, because this kneadable eraser, it's quite... Uh, uh, different consistency than quite different material than the tackies. Tackies are much easier. They are more like uh, easy to manage like so. This is the, the tackies. This is from Faber-Castell, but I'm sure there are other brands with different colors they are selling. These ones are easier to remove. So if you go for the um, tackies, it's better option in my opinion. So I just wanted to mentioned this that I forgot so I'm gonna put this in uh, before I close this video so yeah uh, just be mindful that you won't be able to stop the flow as you can see I'm having a lot of flow here I don't know if the camera is focusing so a lot of flow this is how um, you can make the gel pen work I have seen a lot of videos on YouTube, but none of them uh, showed this kind of trick. It's a temporary solution. Before you use it, do it. Don't do it just if you don't if you're not going to use the gel pen. Do it only when you are about to use it, so it's gonna work. So hopefully it was useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.